Are you wondering how to start an LLC for moving business? Today, you will learn about the most common ways to start your moving company, including the correct forms you'll need, how to register your LLC, critical naming requirements, and all other vital tips and tricks. Then, as a bonus later on in the video I will reveal to you a trustworthy company called Northwest Registered Agent which will help set up your LLC for free. So make sure to stick with me until the end. You can learn more about them by clicking the link in the description box below. People are always moving, and that is not going to change. Moving is hard work, though, and many people do not want to do all the heavy lifting themselves. Starting a moving company could be a profitable business opportunity for you. A moving company helps people or companies move household goods or an office from one location to another. They may also offer packing services. They may work locally only or move items to other locations in the state or anywhere in the country. According to Move Buddha, around 31 million people move in the United States per year, and the moving industry size is $86 billion. The industry has steadily grown about 3% per year. There are about 7,000 moving companies operating in the United States. There are several specific skills that you will need to open a moving company. Experience workers for a moving service is helpful. You will need to have at least some basic knowledge of marketing, finance slash accounting, and human resources. You'll need to be able to build rapport with your customers so that you retain them as customers and keep them coming back. Starting a moving company can be an incredibly rewarding experience, but it's important to make sure you're prepared for the challenges ahead. Use this checklist to help get your business off on the right foot. Step 1. Write your business plan. After coming up with the idea, the next step in starting your moving company should be to write a business plan. The business plan will make you focus on some important aspects of the business, such as who your customers are, how you plan to reach them, projecting sales and expenses, your value proposition to use for marketing, and more. You'll also need to do some research to calculate exactly what your startup expenses will be, and what your ongoing expenses will be. Step 2. Name the business. Finding the perfect moving company name can be challenging. Not only does the name have to reflect what you do and be appealing to customers, it also has to be available to use. You can check your state's website to see if the name is available and register your name. Step 3. Form a business entity. A business entity, also called a business structure, refers to how a business is legally organized to operate. There are four primary business entities to choose from, which include the sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, and limited liability company, LLC. Each type of entity has its own pros and cons, such as liability exposure, costs, and administrative requirements. When deciding on which business entity is best for a moving company, it normally comes down to the sole proprietorship and limited liability company. The sole proprietorship is the least expensive and easiest entity to start which is appealing. The downside is that the owner is personally liable for any debt or legal action, if anything happens to the business, which is an important consideration. The LLC offers the ability to operate as a sole proprietorship with the liability protection of a corporation. Depending on the state, the cost to form an LLC runs from $40 to $500, which is pretty inexpensive for protecting the owners from business-related lawsuits and certain debts. Get top-notch privacy protection with Northwest. Pay just $39 plus state fees and enjoy a free registered agent for a year. Check in the description box to get started. Step 4. Select your location. You need a location where you can house your truck or trucks, as well as all your supplies. A location where you have a lot of visibility to the public is helpful, but not necessary. Step 5. Apply for business licenses and permits. While some states don't require a license specifically for a moving business, many states require movers to be on file with regional travel authorities, typically the Public Service Commission. In addition to registering for a federal DOT number, most states have a regulating agency that licenses trucks making interstate moves as well. There will likely be general business licenses needed such as state tax ID number and an employer identification number. Step 6. Find financing. Coming up with a good business idea and having the skills to run it are one thing, but getting the funding to start a new moving business is another. In order to get a loan, the borrowers will need to have good credit and be able to invest 15 to 25 percent of their money towards the total startup costs. In some cases, a loan guarantee from the Small Business Administration, SBA, may be needed to secure a bank loan. Step 7. Open a business bank account. A moving company will need to set aside a budget to cover marketing costs on a continuous basis. 
Common marketing techniques for a moving company include social media marketing and online advertising. Additionally, advertising in the newspaper classified sections and posting flyers on bulletin boards can be effective as well. If you also perform other moving services, such as packing materials and storage, be sure to include these services in your advertising. By including more than one service, you can attract more customers and have the opportunity to provide them with a variety of moving services. Step 8. Get your marketing plan in place. A moving company will need to set aside a budget to cover marketing costs on a continuous basis. Common marketing techniques for a moving company include social media marketing and online advertising. Step 9. Get business insurance. Even though 80% of moves have no claims filed, according to the American Moving and Storage Association, it's critical to purchase several types of insurance to fully protect the business. Step 10. Hire employees. You will need employees to help you run your moving company. Drivers are the most often needed position for moving companies to fill, and they can be hard to find and keep due to the labor-intensive nature of the job. In addition to salary costs, your budget will also need to include other employee-related expenses. Workman's comp insurance, unemployment insurance, and paid time off are common expenses that a business will need to cover when hiring staff. Step 11. Set up an accounting system. Setting up an accounting system for your moving company is critical to the long-term success of your business. Staying on top of taxes not only keeps the business out of trouble with the government, but the numbers can be used to track and monitor trends in cash flow in the business and maximize profits. Pricing for moving company is typically based on the volume of contents being moved, the number of miles being driven, and labor costs for loading and unloading. The average local move costs about $1,000 but can be much higher based on the number of items, mileage, and labor costs. If you do two moves per week at $1,000, you would make $104,000 per year in revenue. Don't forget to look into renting moving trucks during the peak moving periods if you are unable to afford to purchase one. Assuming you have access to drivers, this can help expand the number of moves, resulting in increased income. If you are confused or consider these steps to be difficult, you can employ a professional formation service to file your LLC. Northwest Registered Agent is an amazing company that will guide you through creating your LLC. They even have a service where they will file your LLC for you without you going through any hassle. Watch the rest of the video, where I will show you how to form an LLC in under one minute through Northwest Registered Agent. The full review of Northwest Registered Agent is also given in the description down below. Starting an LLC? Let us show you how to do it in a right way. First thing first, the whole point of an LLC is the separate you and your business. That's what protects your finances and privacy. Start by pointing a registered agent. Your LLC official point of contact. Hiring a registered agent is smart and affordable method to maximize privacy. Next, see if your name is available by checking your state business database. Now you are ready to file state paperwork. The average fee is around $100. Apply for a free EIN from IRS website. Having your tax ID in hand you'll make the rest steps easy. Put your LLC policy in writing with an operating agreement. Make it easy with free template like ours. Remember when we said LLC separates you and your business, that's why your LLC needs its own bank account. Your bank account does not do any good in empty, time for each member to contribute. Be prepared for annual files and fees like state reports and taxes. Check the link in the description below. Start your LLC with Northwest Registered Agent.